dedicating a whole day to debate on the on the plight and the issue of um, students that are out of school, uh, Marjorie and the rest of them that are out of school. So that date will be March 12th. That announcement by the Speaker is part of the legislative agenda of the Ninth House of Representatives to pay attention to the education sector, especially at a time when a survey conducted by the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, indicates that the population of out-of-school children in Nigeria is 13.2 million, or the data of 10.2 million, as stated by the Minister for Education. It is important that For the lawmakers, some of these children who are meant to be in school, especially girls, girls are lured out of the country and trafficked for money. A lot of the young girls, some that are kidnapped in uniform, that are in Mali, are operating. If you Google, you see the pictures of where they are living in. It's where not even your dog you are allowed to live in such type of places. And they are forced to sleep with 20, 30 people in a day to be able, able to pay. If you look at the value chain of this sex slavery, it begins from homes. I do not want to get involved in mentioning geographical jurisdictions where this thing is somehow almost being legitimized. We need to actually do a lot of reorientation because most of the people who are actually getting involved in this trade, like we rightly said, were actually deceived into it. The UNODC reports that while human trafficking cuts across gender, young women and girls from Nigeria are particularly vulnerable as they are trafficked to other African countries, Europe or the Middle East, where they are forced into sex work. The lawmakers resolve that NAPTIP should publish the names and pictures of convicted traffickers and mandates the House Committee on Human Rights to conduct investigation into all aspects of sex slavery and recommend appropriate budgeting and legislative measures, including sanctions and cooperation with fellow African countries to put an end to the menace. Welcome. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.